Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we're sharing a review of our family experience at the Legoland Discovery Center in Kansas City, Missouri. There are Legoland locations all over the country, so check to see if they have a location near you. They have locations in Arizona, Boston, Dallas-Fort Worth area, New Jersey, Toronto, Atlanta, Chicago, Philadelphia, Westchester, Bay Area, Columbus, Michigan, and San Antonio. The Legoland Discovery Center in Kansas City is located in Crown Center, which is a popular destination in the heart of Kansas City with lots of activities for families. Legoland admission tickets range from $20 a day, and they also sell combo tickets with the Sea Life Aquarium that's next door, starting at $32 a day for both attractions if you're looking for activities to fill up your day. If you're interested in visiting both attractions, check out our video of the Sea Life Aquarium at the link above or in the video description below. We usually plan between two to four hours at Legoland, and they have a variety of interactive play areas, shows, and rides. When you arrive, you go through the Kansas City Mini Land that's followed by the Creative Workshop, Lego Art Gallery, and they also have a Lego Friends building area. They also have a build and test race, racer track area and an earthquake shake to test the strength of your Lego creations. For little ones, they have a train adventure soft play area and Duplo Village. Our kids really enjoyed the Lego Ninjago training camp area. Two of the rides include Marlin's Apprentice and the Kingdom Quest laser shooting game. They also have a 4D cinema that has different shows playing throughout the day. And when you leave, you exit through the gift shop. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us today. If you like what you see, we welcome you to come and visit our channel for more family-friendly content like this from the Kansas City area and Branson area from our travels, as well as our travels to Disney parks. We hope you enjoy. Excited? Mm -hmm. He's really looking forward to this ride. It's Mommy and Emma. So this one's kind of a workout. You have to actually pedal. Legoland has two rides. First is Merlin's Apprentice. Usually what we like to hit first. It's perfect for like our kids, especially Henry, who's only he's a four-year-old. And there's also Kingdom Quest. What's really nice is even on busier days, usually just a really short wait, so they're kind of nice for the littler kids. I'd say kids under 10. Both our kids really enjoy them. Miniland. This is really cool. They have a lot of cool models. This is actually this is a Kansas City right here. There's the Kaufman Center of Performing Arts. We've got downtown, a lot of the really historic landmarks. There's Union Station. Liberty Memorial, the Western Autumn Colorado. Building. Yeah. Really cool. Well, here's the soccer stadium. Really cool. All the fans they put in the bleachers. They actually have a crew doing road work outside. Here's Kansas Speedway where they have NASCAR races. Cool. they have Kauffman Stadium, home of the Royals, and Arrowhead. This is awesome. They even have tailgating out here in the parking lot. How cool is that? Downtown, there's the famous Western Auto Building that lights up at night. Downtown Skyline. Union Station. The 
the Liberty Memorial. And of course the Country Club Plaza. If you know Kansas City, this is definitely one of the premier landmarks for the city. Historic shopping and dining area. And the fountain. It's really cool in here. It changes from daytime to nighttime. Now you see there's plaza at night. Downtown. Stadium even has lights on it. Oh look, there's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> oh cool. Hoffman Stadium. Arrowhead at nighttime. Oh my goodness. Oh no. It's Dorothy's house. Oh my goodness. City. The Wicked Witch's Castle. And you can melt the witch with a bucket of water. You cussed and Look what you've done! I'm melting! 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 melting. melting. <laughs> nice. This is one of the build areas. This is themed around Lego Friends. This is one of Emma's favorites. One of the main reasons is one of the main characters is named Emma. Emma, did you find Emma? Well, they've got all these little build stations. They've actually got a little, a little Lego town Friends, here. Lego that you can kind of build and add on to. How are you doing, Henry? Building your own little house? What are you doing, Mommy? I built a house. Is this a model of what you want our future home to look like? No, but I built it, so. <laughs> Here they have the cinemas where they do 3D shows. They do it on the half hour. Some of the kids really enjoy. Now they have Ninjango, City 4D, and a Lego movie. Sorry, I said 3D, it's a 4D show. That's because they add in, I think, different like wind and maybe they sprinkle with water. We'll see. Excited for the show. We're gonna see the Lego City 4D show. See that, buddy? Officer in Pursuit. Oh, Sounds like Henry's kind of show. We do have a little cafe shop here. You can kind of the basics hot dogs, nachos, different ice cream cakes. We actually do Starbucks coffee here now. Here they have Dippin' Dots and some ice cream treats. So if you just want a little snack, maybe while you're in your plane. Hey! Just a little seating area for it. More little build stations. Lots of these around, all around Legoland. And here's the Duplo area, so set up for kind of the littler kids. They actually have the big foam squares that they're building in there. Those are really cool, kind of build your own fort. Kansas City Legoland, so of course we've got a big Chiefs area in here with the Super Bowl trophy from a couple years ago. There's Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. Over here's a neat little station. You can design your own pizza. Yeah, they actually have a little Lego oven. The kids can pretend to make their pizza in. Alright guys, making our pizzas. Lots of cheese. Cheese, meat, and veggies. And then you can stick them in that little brick oven too. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Hey, Emma's cooking her pizza. I see the cheese melt. Do you see it melt? Oh, that's hot. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot, it's hot. Let's eat. All right, eat it up. Henry's cooking his pizza. Put it in there. Psh. Cook, 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 cook. Okay, I think it's done. 
Okay, now eat it up. Eat it. Right here they have the Django training camp. They're cool, so they start a timer. So you want to go in here, and you have to dodge the lasers. Remember, it made really hard last time, but Emma was a lot younger then, so we'll see if she's an expert now. Don't touch the lasers. The laser. Go. Oh, Henry is got, got this the down. Sorry. Right. Touch the bonus. Touch the bonus. Part of the training camp if you try to get this around without touching the sides. It's kind of like playing Operation. Oh, you touch it! Oh! Yeah. I'm just gonna try this one. Let's do it. Ready? Right. You have chosen blue. I think it's safe to say this is Henry's favorite part. This is where you build your, your racer. And we'll show you that you race it down this hill. How are we doing, Henry? I'm building. Building the car build here. Build the way. Okay, let's gonna start hers too. Here is the earthquake table. This is to build a structure and see how well it can withstand an earthquake, Emma. Oh, so Emma's got her little, uh, is this a farm, Emma? Yes, it's yeah? a farm. And I built this little tower just to see how quickly it'll fall. Okay. Alright, here we go, Emma. My tower did not last, but Emma's farm is strong. Oh. And he's got his racer. Whoa, that was so fast, Henry! Let's see how Henry does on the mousetrap. That works, yeah. And this is definitely one of the highlights, especially for our kids, is this really cool little playground in here. Got a lot of little interactive elements. They can climb up to the top. They could probably spend about an hour here. Do a little walkthrough, so coming from the entrance. The two rides are right here to the right. Uh, the Merlin's Prentice ride and the Kingdom's Quest, the kind of ride through laser tag. Here's a station where you can kind of check out bricks to go build with. They have a little virtual reality experience. This is an extra cost though. And here's the earthquake table. That where you build and try to get to resist an earthquake. Build your racing cars and test them out. There's Django Station. Them over there. Try to score as many points as they can. And they have the walkthrough where you try to avoid the lasers. Okay, give it a try. Here's where they're doing those racers again. Over there is the big playground area. This is a train set. See where you can kind of add on to the train cars. There's the bricks there to build for that. Plus there's little build stations everywhere.
more build stations. Over here's the where you build the pizza and put it in the pizza oven. There's the 40 cinema. That was actually really good. Um, I'd say they've really improved it from where it was a few years ago. The Lego Friends area. Over here's the little cafe area. They do serve Starbucks now. Just your basic stuff. They do nachos, hot dogs, chips, and some ice creams. The Duplo area over there after, for your little kids. That's kind of the whole, pretty much the whole thing, other than the, the mini area we walked through before. We really enjoy that too. It's kind of cool that they have the, here in Kansas City, they have the Kansas City built out. Fun to look at. And over here, see they're building little bracelets. We'll show you that too, the kids. But that's all Legoland Kansas City. Cool rock climbing wall they had here, the boobs. Look at Emma go! So over here, doing our bracelets. This is nice, this is a free activity included with, with your admission. <laughs> Mommy's doing one. Doing good, bud. I made this bracelet at the dot station. Oh, it's pretty. I like how you did all different dots, yeah. different colors. Very pretty. pretty. Good job, Emma. And the Duplo area is definitely one of the more fun areas. It's got these foam blocks. Very cool. And this train station to build on. stuff. Here's Henry's little house. <laughs> Quite the creation here. <laughs> we got another window over here. Henry! Hi! Over here on the art gallery you can design your own square. Maybe it's Bluey and Bingo. People are really creative. There's Mario. And there's Luigi. Pretty cool. What is Emma gonna build? I'm building an Arctic box. Oh, of course. Emma, what'd you make? I made an Arctic box. Arctic box? Cute. And Mommy made a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, look at this, the fun. You can make all kinds of art. Very cool. Emma's little Arctic box, I love it. They, you exit into the gift shop, which is a nice big Lego store. Got a lot of different sets in here. One of those dot bracelets. Oh. There's the Disney Castle. It's a pretty good sized Lego store. A lot bigger than the one we have here in our mall. So This is fun. This is where you can actually... You can just get a bag of a whole bunch of different colors to build your own thing. Be creative, be a master builder. Yeah, so this is fun. There's the Harry Potter sets over there, Lego friends, they got a good variety. All right, we're done with Lego Land. What'd yeah. you think? Yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's a fun, another fun activity you can do here at Crown Center. Uh, fun for the kids. We were here for about two and a half hours. Yeah, it's definitely. And I think we did about we did everything. It's definitely. So, I think you can do longer here in the aquarium next door. Yeah. There's obviously, depends how if you want to spend a lot of time building Legos, yeah. you could be here for hours. Yeah, but, easily. Yeah, you I think. You could spend a lot more time here. They, the kids went through and kind of tried to do everything uh, pretty quickly. Um, spent. We did two of the two of the forty shows. And, out of, and there's three 40 shows, so we could have done one more. Yeah. And then I think we did all of the activities and some of the things we, they spent more time with that, that they liked a little bit better. But I think you could easily spend probably three to four hours here, probably yeah. a good part of your day if you wanted to really spend time and do everything. Um, I would say definitely plan it around your lunch, lunch time yeah. uh, to make sure you give yourself enough time to do the activities. 
um, so that you're not getting hungry. They do have a little snack booth, so you yeah. can get snacks. And it's pretty basic, and though. It's like hot dogs and nachos is the only like food yeah. food they have. So yeah. So if you're in a pinch and you and you do kind of yeah. push yourself over the lunchtime, then that gives you an option, couple options to kind of hold you over. Oh, but there's a lot of good places to shop and, and go get food here around Crown Center that I would yeah. recommend a little bit better than the Snyder It's just a nice activity for yeah. just here, you know, and especially if it's a cold winter day or a really hot summer day. It, yeah. It's a nice thing, especially for kind of the 3 to 12 range. I'd say. Yeah, it's, I, it's awesome. Yeah, our kids are ages 4 to 9. They were able to do all the activities today, so that was awesome. Uh, Henry really loved the rides. That has some good interactive rides. What was your favorite thing, Emma? I like the activities. You like yeah. the activities? Like building, yeah, building these dots bracelets. Yeah. We had a lot of fun activities for the kids. So a lot of things to keep them busy for the afternoon. It was a really fun day. What, is your, what, what was your favorite, favorite thing, Duffet? My favorite thing um, was the treasure. The quest to save the princess? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. He loved saving the princess and shooting all the targets and yeah. getting all the points. There's just two kind of real basic yeah. rides. I think it's really about the activities here, though, yeah. which he, he really loved. He's just... He's all about rides. Awesome. So. Yeah. so hope you guys enjo enjoyed this tour of Legoland here in Kansas City, Missouri. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us out. And look for more fun activities around the Kansas City area. We also visit Branson, we go to Disney World. We do a lot of fun family activity content on this channel. So make sure to come and visit our channel to check more out. And hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.